This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida Atlantic tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Mike five, Mike five. Go. Seven out of four. Seven. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He's out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Tackle around the 43-yard line. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Brought down around the 48-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29. Going for it all to the end zone. Missed him. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Passes it to the middle of the field. And he tackles him hard at the 28. And here's another third down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an eight-play, 71-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here he goes. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hand off to the left. And he's level at the 45-yard line. That makes it second and two. Reset, tight right. My game, my game. Too little, tough catch. Got an opening. 
He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. Call it a gain of 21 yards. First down. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 37. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Come on, come on, D. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Here we go. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 24. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. First and 15 now after the penalty. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That'll bring up second and 11. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. Green 90. Green 90. Motion, motion, motion. And he throws it away. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. And he's tackled at the 50-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run there. Second down and five. Ball on the 45. He's at the 30. He's finally tackled at the 18-yard line. After a decent run up the gut, Dexter picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. 
Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. Got the corner. Decides to slide. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 50-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 10-7. He's taken down at the 20. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play-action pass and stretch out this defense. Throws off balance incomplete. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He lets it fly. Tackle made the 39-yard line. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Here we go. He's at the 20. He's taken down at about the 13. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 11. Touchdown!
great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 32-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Good possession there for the defense. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Mike five, Mike five. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 14-10. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Gets it out quickly. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Caught over the middle. Brought down around the 45-yard line. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There he goes! And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He gets to about the 34-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 30. Eight. Eight. 
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Couple of yards at most on that pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's got the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He makes his way to about the 42. Give to the tailback. Here he goes. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. And they got him for a loss. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and down he goes at the 36-yard line. Number 11 brings him down. To the They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He fights forward to about the 30. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He tackles him for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Eagle. 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 
He's at the 30, makes it to the 24. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Looking for his man, incomplete. Third and ten coming up. Ball on the 24-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's pushed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. The kick is up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 23. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Hands it off inside, brought down. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Boy, really good call here by the defensive coordinator. Perfect time to dial up the blitz. The blitz didn't get home, but it did free up a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback to come up with that sack. On the run, gets it to the tight end. That brings us fourth and fifteen. And he's tackled at the forty nine. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That'll bring up second and 11. Here we go, here we go. From their own 48 yard line, second down. Caught and big hit there to stop him. Going deep. And he's hit immediately. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more competent as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. They'll get him for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defenders stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he converts the extra point. 
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And they make the stop right around the 38-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Noble picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Florida Atlantic just took their first time out. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. First and 10, ball on the 49. He's on the run. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Steps out of bounds at the 32-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He gets rid of this one. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Trying to change the field position with his kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Inside the 30 to the 10. He scores. What a play. That gives him a total of 100 yards on his carry so far. The game plan they devised has been working fantastically. And nowhere has that been more evident than in the rushing numbers. And he tacks on the extra point. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 34-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. 
Uh, absolutely. And you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves the second half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He'll take it from the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. Yeah, I think the consistency is the thing that stands out. I think they got off to a great start at halftime. They made a few adjustments, and they've come out even played better, believe it or not, here in this second half. Now he's scrambling. And they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Pressured and brought down. That's a loss of five yards. That makes it third and 15. Here we go, D. All day, defense. All day. All day. Right here we go. Blast it. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 16-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. You know, the most impressive thing you could say is not only does the entire defense know, the entire stadium knows he's going to get the football, and they still cannot slow him down. That's a commitment by the running back. It's also a commitment by the offensive line and the coach. And all of his stats have been one of the contributing factors in this lead. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Tries to fit it in there, but it's picked off. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From their own 44-yard line, first down. It's broken up. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Fires it out. He's taken down at about the 49. 
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. some daylight he gets hit out of bounds at the 39 they'll bring him down around the 32 yard line They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's level at the 26. Quick pass, and he's taken down around the 19-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he hits him hard at the eight. It's the ninth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ready. Blue for the They'll knock him down for a loss. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. It's second and goal. Ball on the 10. Touchdown, Owls. That's how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They didn't account for everybody in the backfield, and the rest is history. So the offense is going to go for two. They got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened there. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Hand off and he won't make it. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. That makes it fourth and four. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Gives it right side. 
He's tackled at the 45. Tackle right around the 40. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big gain. From the 40-yard line, first down. Here's a run. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop at about the 31. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gives it to the back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. some open field. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled at the 13. This is the ninth play of this drive. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Dexter only picks up about a yard there on the option. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Well, this young man is having a great individual day, but some more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. And he adds the extra point. An 11-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Swanson fields it at the three, brought down at the 28. The Owls' defense, I thought they looked lost in the first half, and it seems like they finally found their bearings here in the third quarter. I think they were confused in the first half, and I think they've made the right adjustments. And right now, boy, they're playing with an attitude, and I think they're really attacking this offense much better than the way they looked early in this game. We're about set to start things up again. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line.
Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Nice job here to step up and hold on the two-point attempt, knowing how critical it was. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's to the 40, across midfield, at the 30, to the 20, the 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Great explosion, and he got it into the end zone in a flash. Boy, this guy's got incredible speed, but his ability to find daylight is just as impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Swanson from the three, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 40-32. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Here we go. Green and cut. He has some room. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 47. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Five, 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 five. Here we go. Brought down at the 45 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Here we go. Light 80. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. My five, my five, my five. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Ready. Green and cut. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Ready! He's scrambling, looking for the corner. Dives for extra yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, six yards to go. 
Ball on the 28. Gets out to around the 18. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Four down, four down. My five. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's on the run. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line. Well, I'm sure Reese is having fun giving updates from this game to our other games going on today. We've had back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back scores. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Good tackle there in space. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Nice run to the outside. Gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Back in, back in. Back up. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He makes his way to about the 38. run and he's brought down from the 34 yard line it's second down five wide they'll bring him down at the 37 you keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback we're at play number nine of this current drive. He heaves it to the end zone. 
Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So they're going to go for it here. Going long. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And he's in for two. Florida Atlantic ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Well, somewhere Andre Ware's doing a game today, and he'd be smiling if he was doing this one. We've got nothing but offense going on in this football game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide 80. Put hot. Put hot. Throws complete, and he's hammered. Less than three minutes in the game. And down he goes at the 38. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Straight run, nothing going on there. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws complete. Big loss. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage.
Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he tries to buy some time. Looking for the corner. He's taken off. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 30-yard line. We're down to just a minute in this game. We have less than a minute to go. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Five yards. The receiver got good separation and ran a very nice route to the outside of the field. He scrambled, and he tackles him hard at the 26. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Quick throw, caught by the fullback, and down he goes around the 24-yard line. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. There's a strike complete. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 47-40. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.